Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss orange juice futures. Yeah. So I have a commenter, and whenever he um, doesn't doesn't like one of the videos that I'll I'll put out, he'll make some sort of a passive aggressive comment. And in his last passive aggressive comment, it was, uh, "Please, I need an analysis of orange juice futures." So. Let's do an analysis of orange juice futures. We're on OJU 2023, and this is from the International Commodities, Commodities Exchange US, or ICUS. And we're going to start on the weekly chart, guys. All right. So weekly chart, you know, first thing that strikes my mind here is high, low, high. That being said, um, it does kind of look like the market wants to push into liquidity again. Um, Starting here on the weekly chart, mostly trading efficiently with the candles uh, overlapping. We had um, the SIBI that you could see inverted. So we're probably looking at a three drives pattern here on the orange juice weekly chart. So right up here, okay, and then we start trading back down. That would be my current assessment there on the the weekly chart. Uh, whenever we're doing an analysis, ladies and gentlemen, we always want to start with a bullish and a bear scenario. So let's first start with where would the market want to go if if it wants to turn back down? Okay. I would say the mean threshold of that order block right there. So right about there, right about that 259 spot 25. If next week on orange juice is going to turn back down, I would say that it would come right back down about this 258 spot 65. We also have an inverted wick inefficiency there, and that's 262. Yeah, what is that? Like two, 262 evens. Mean threshold of that order block right there is right at about 258 spot 80. I would say that would be your bear scenario for next week. Bullish scenario, okay? We're going to fill out this um, three drives pattern. So one high, two high, three high. And let's use our standard deviation projections from this order block, in the weekly chart. So let's just take it from this candles. Let's see, one standard deviation projection, guys. You know we love our standard deviation projections. That would take us up to 278 spot four, which would confirm a turtle suit pattern. So a push into a sweep into liquidity before we turn back down. I think that's kind of the most likely scenario here on Orange Juice Futures. So looking at that 278 spot four, that's a one standard deviation higher than this order block right here. Just using that candle. Right there, just using that black candle, one standard deviation takes us just above the prior high, and that's kind of our bullish scenario for next week on Orange Juice Futures. Let's take a look at the daily candle. Daily candles, we have another order block right here. Let's see if we take, see if we take a standard deviation projection from that. Two standard deviations would confirm. Okay, so we have liquidity here that I'm not using bookmap for. I don't think bookmap has uh, orange juice futures. But look, there's liquidity above that high point and it looks like the market is gonna try and sweep that liquidity. Okay, it's two standard deviations of this daily order block would confirm a sweep into that liquidity right there. That kinda looks like where the market is headed. Okay, so we look at orange juice on a daily time frame. we see that it looks like the market's gonna go poke through this liquidity. Uh, and then our order block standard deviation projection theory. Guys, these markets, the analysis is mathematic and it doesn't matter what market it is. Now, you know I trade the NASDAQ, but that being said, the basic mathematic models, like using standard deviation projections, doesn't change. We're, and guys, book map, I, book map's not gonna have fucking orange juice futures, but there's the liquidity above orange juice futures. There it is. There are institutional side there are commodity traders that trade orange juice futures and where their stops on a long-term basis on a daily basis right above that high two standard deviations of this order block would confirm 280 spot 45 right there okay 280 spot 45 right there you would all right for our chart let's take a standard deviation projection of that black candle there Again, we're seeing the same thing, just above the prior high. So I would say that all things considered, next week, orange juice futures are probably going to come up to about at least that first standard deviation projection, at which point 
we could go higher to the second standard deviation projection or we could turn lower. That would be my best guess right now for orange juice futures. You can also see we had an inverted, right? So take a look at this. There's a SIBI right there. See that? You see how price is you you see how price found support on that? That inverted SIBI right there. Look. Support to go higher. Okay? So my best guess here on orange juice futures is we're probably looking higher. Now let's take a look at the continuous contract. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. See if we have any would you look at that guys this market is a bit inefficient up to 275 spot 80 on the weekly chart I would tell you that's probably where orange juice futures are going past that I'm not sure look that undelivered portion of that SIBI right there orange juice futures look like they want to come up to 275 spot 80 let's take a look at the daily chart look that's where the market has been inefficient guys it's where right here where orange juice futures have been inefficiently delivered. So I would say it's probably coming up to 275 spot 80 here on the continuous contract. And let's take a look. Take a look and our, our standard deviation projection. Let's see if that would be half standard deviation projection 278 spot 55 back up to the daily chart it seems very reasonable to me half standard deviation projection higher get up to probably I'm gonna say that candle that green candles low right there at 278 spots spot 55 five. seven dollars higher that's a one standard or half standard deviation trade are also wick inefficient up here guys by the way look Orange Juice Futures had this volume imbalance up here. That was a breakaway gap on the daily chart. So if Orange Juice really wants to get higher, we're looking at a one standard deviation move to come in, fill in this volume imbalance up here where the market had traded inefficiently. So for LP trades, um, I wanted to get out this video, guys. This is a little bit satirical. Um, you know, I always love his passive aggressive comments. He's very Canadian. Um, but that being said, the mathematical models, standard deviation projections, okay, inefficiencies in the marketplace, those things are, are not market specific, um, especially not in anything that's going to be controlled. So that being said, that is my uh, analysis of Orange Juice Futures. Bye.